Hey guys, this is SaxFan112, and welcome to another episode of... Dan, the Computer Man. Okay, welcome back to another episode of Dan, the Computer Man. In today's episode, I'm going to be showing you how you can transfer music right off your iPod without having to do and do it with any special program. So what you need to do is go to my computer and in order for this to work you're gonna have to have disk mode enabled with your iPod which I do already and you go to your iPod click tools folder options go to the view tab and click show hidden files and folders where it shows this little thing then click OK now you'll notice that you'll have a hidden folder in your iPod called iPod Control. And this is the directory of where you have all your stuff in your iPod. Now it'll show like artwork, device, game data, games, game stats, iTunes, music, depending on what kind of iPod you have. So I'm just going to go to music. And depending on how many songs you have on your iPod, you have a bunch of folders like F00, F01, F02, etc. So I'm just going to open up my F00 folder and as you can see this is a movie and I'm going to show you what the only difference is when you when you open it up in the QuickTime player because right now it shows example verse 1 says CDAQ but when you open up QuickTime Player, it'll show the actual title of the song. Okay, so just hold on, it's opening up. Ah, uh, here we go. And it shows the title of the song right here, which is kind of nice. And all I just had to do is rename the file. And after that, after you viewed all the files in your folders, you can copy and paste these folders to your desktop. And you had then you add your edge, you had to import them into iTunes and rename them and everything. Well, actually, I'm wrong. You don't have to rename them. You just had to rename the main file and make sure you have those files in a safe place such as your my music folder so just in case like iTunes crashes or something so then you have a backup of those files in case something bad happens okay so that's about it I hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial and I hope this helps